Maddie and Bill, from just down the road, were as happy as they could be. A baby boy, all bald and cute, was delivered at a quarter past three. The proud, doting parents did name the kid Chuck. How sweet he looked in his nursery. They sung him to sleep, then soft closed the door and went down for a nice cup of tea. No sooner had they both descended the stairs, when Chuck yelled out really quite loud. He shrieked and screamed and moaned with pain, and for good measure he let out a howl. Maddie and Bill ran into Chuck's room, looking with abject concern. Perhaps he's cold. Perhaps he's hot. Perhaps he's having a bad turn. Down the stairs, nursing poor Chuck, they went to the kitchen for warm milk. Maddie walked him around without making a sound. This child was as precious as silk. But Chuck would not settle, stay still or behave. He was in a terrible mood. Then Bill came up with the most brilliant idea. Perhaps the poor tyke just needs food. Along with warm milk, Bill had mashed up some veg and tentatively held out a spoon. No sooner had he offered the food to the babe, Chuck stopped crying and none too soon. With a chomp, a slurp, and a great big belch, Chuck had scoffed away all of his meal. With a frown, he peered down at the now empty bowl, and then simply proceeded to squeal. In fear of the neighbours calling the cops, Maddie and Bill dashed about. Pulling food from the pantry, the cupboards and fridge, Chuck was famished of that there was no doubt. For the next 16 hours, they cooked and they baked, feeding Chuck all the food they had mustered. They started with yummy stuff, toast cake and juice, and baked apple pie with warm custard. But soon the food had run low and Chuck was not full. What else were they going to do? But cook what was left before Chuck screamed again. Could they really feed a child kangaroo? Chuck ate rabbit and spatchcock, anchovies on pretzels, lentil burgers with offal and tripe, stuffed artichoke hearts with brain truffle tarts, but still he would grumble and gripe. Chuck rolled round on the table, the size of a hippo, snatching all within reach of his mitts. Quickly downing raw pasta, liquid lard even faster, his parents were losing their wits. Then, all of a sudden, the house it was quiet, the bloated child sated and still. He had finally eaten his fill of the food. The dessert had been Maddie and Bill. <laughs>